Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Waggett's math class. Today, we will be talking about a special system of linear equations. For us to understand that, let's review what we already learned about a system of linear equations. System of linear equations, they have at least two equations in the same variable. Watch how equation one has x, equation two has x. Same thing, equation one has y, and equation two has y. Those are the two different kind of variables. The value of x and the value of y in both equations are the same, and that's the solution. We also learned how to solve a system of linear equations three different ways. Graphically, which means by graphing the two equations on the same coordinate plane where the two lines intersect, that would be the solution. Or algebraically, using substitution, following the steps, or elimination, following, following those steps, and the solution is the value of x and y, which is the solution that makes both equations true. So what makes a system of linear equations special? Think about this. Is it possible to find a solution to every single system of linear equations? Let's find out. To answer that question, let's find out using different scenarios of two cars driving on the street at specific speed and starting at specific location. You have the Chevy Camaro, the yellow car, and we have the Chevy Equinox, the white car driving on the street. <laughs> So here's the first scenario where I have two cars, Chevy Camaro, where Jacob is driving it, and the Chevy Equinox, Nancy is driving it. In this first scenario, the Camaro is going 45 miles per hour, and the Chevy Equinox is going 30 miles per hour. Let's see if they, or when, will they meet. So the first scenario was the Chimera going 45 miles per hour, the Equinox is going 30 miles per hour. Both cars started at the same location. As you saw, the both cars started only or met only when they first started, and after that, each one went in different speeds, so they never met after that. Let's prove it mathematically. To write the equation for both cars, we need the slope-intercept form, y equal mx plus b, where m is the slope of the rate of change or the speed, and b is the starting point, which where the both cars started. The Camaro, the equation for the Camaro y equals 45x, because this speed is 45, plus b, b is 0, started at the same location. The equinox will be y equals 30x, because the speed is 30 miles per hour, and the starting location is 0, because they both started at the same place. To prove that graphically, Here's the graph where x represents the time in hours and y represents the distance in months. To graph the equation for the Camaro, which is the red line, I wanted to start from 0, 0 because b equals 0. And then the rate of change is 45, so go up 45, write 1, that's 45 miles per hour an hour. Connect those two dots, and the red line is for the Camaro. Now, Let's graph the equinox, start from 0, 0 again with the blue dot, and the rate of change is 30, so go up 30, right 1, that's 30 miles in one hour, and cannot connect the line, so the blue line is for the Chevy equinox. The lines will never intersect after takeoff, so after they left, they will never meet, because each one is going at a different location, and watch how the lines are going at a different steepness. So there is one solution which is the zero zero, the origin. Now let's prove it algebraically using elimination. Write the both equations since they already lined up the y under the y and the x under the x. They have the same sign so I subtract them. Subtract the y minus y is zero. 45 minus 30x is 15x. Now isolate x which is the time 
by dividing both sides by 15, you end up with x equals 0. So that's 0 hours. Now, how do I find the distance when they met? Choose one equation, and I chose y equal 45x. Substitute the value of x in the equation to find y. So y equal 45 times x, which is 0, gives you y equals 0. So the distance is 0 when the time is 0, and that is your solution. That means the car met only at the starting place. <laughs>
Now let's prove it algebraically, again using elimination, write both equations and subtract them. y minus y is 0, bring the equal sign down, 45x minus 45x is 0, plus, there's nothing, which is 0, minus 30 is negative 30, bring that negative 30 down. Now simplify that, 0 equal negative 30. Can 0 equal negative 30? Absolutely not. 0 does not equal negative 30, which means not a true statement, which means no solution. There isn't a distance, there isn't a time, both cars will meet, and if you think about it, they started at a different location, they go on the same speed, there's no way they can meet, and that's what no solution means. In conclusion, is it possible to find a solution to every single system of linear equations? Absolutely not. Because we just found out there is something called no solution and infinite many solutions. So let's see and recap everything we learned so far using this table. You have one solution, no solution, or infinite many solutions. And all that depends on the slope or the rate of change, the y-intercept, which is the starting point, whether you choose to graph it, where would those two lines intersect, or algebraically, would you get a true statement or not? So let's discuss this one at a time. If you get one solution, you have different slope and the same y-intercept, you'll get one solution. Different slopes and different y-intercepts, you'll get one solution. If they graph, they intersect at one point, and if you solve them algebraically, you are able to find the value of x and the value of y as a number. Now let's discuss no solution. If the slope is the same and the y-intercept is different, those two lines when graphed are parallel lines, they will never intersect. And when you uh, solve them algebraically, you will get not a true statement. All that means no solution, never. Infinite many solutions, if the slope is the same, the y-intercept is the same, that means it's the same line. They will always intersect, not one, just one point all the time. And when you uh, solve them algebraically, you will get a true statement which means infinite many solutions. That means always. That's it for today's lesson. We are able to solve a system of linear equation, graphically or algebraically, or maybe I'm not able to solve it at all because there's something called no solution, which means never. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.